welcome back to my channel um, today's video it's gonna be a tribute to somebody on YouTube his handle is traveling Robert and I don't know if you've seen his videos but he's <laughs> his quote is free in my RV and uh, it's pretty inspiring he uh, he just travels around the United States with his RV and uh, visit his, visits different places and uh, I don't know, it just seems pretty cool something I might want to try a little later on anyway so this tribute here I'm gonna take you through Raleigh and uh, show you some things to see in the town I just found out Raleigh is like the, one of the number two places to move to so getting real popular prices of homes have gone way up anyway so here we go let's start with a cold start and uh, we'll take you to the city oh yeah Be strong. Be strong. Anyway, got the car in sport mode. It's uh, 62 degrees out, so it's pretty nice. My wife just found out one of our... Gotta love that. <laughs> um, my wife just found out that one of our neighbors has got a cough, and we're... Uh, we're hoping it's not COVID, her and her daughter. So uh, we'll be praying for them. And most people, I guess, uh, when they get it, it's not a big deal, but you just don't know. So um, that's what's strange about it. And we don't know if it goes away and it comes back or if it goes away for good or different strain or whatever. I just assume be safe than sorry. But when I'm in my car and stuff, I'm not wearing a mask. And uh, if I get in, when I get in the city, I'll put my AC in recirculate mode just to be uh, extra cautious. But yeah, a lot of people out and about. It's gonna be a nice little waterfall in our town, but I think it created more mosquitoes than it was worth. Anyway, yeah, nice day. Take it for a ride. I'll show you some cool things around Raleigh. since I moved here. 
It was like 20 years ago, I think. And uh, I think we'll still see some orange cones set up as we get around these next couple bends. <clears throat> but yeah, coming into the east side of the, well, top side of the city, actually. Coming in from the north. I'll, uh, a couple more turns here and you'll see it. We uh, finished up some of these bridges and overpasses and stuff. Paved the road. Man, it used to be really bumpy coming in here. But, yeah, so it doesn't look like both cities. You know, you don't see big skyscrapers. You're going to see a few tall buildings here as coming up. And I'm going to go right by the old state house. Downtown area. Turning on Hillsborough Street. I like this approach coming in here because you come down the road and there's a statue in the old state capitol right here. Protests here, they usually go pretty smooth. People have a lot of guns around here. And uh, they're not afraid to use them. I like this road here. They've, they've done it over a few times. It's kind of crummy right now. Not a whole lot going on. Well, of course, because of the virus. But I think it's more than just the virus. I think the economy's kind of gone to crap. Now, there's some museums on the other side of the state house. I'll, I'll go down this drag and uh, turn around and go down this road here and then I'll turn around. This big easy is pretty cool. They got some Cajun food in there. Sometimes when I get to do stuff here in Raleigh, paperwork or whatever, I get, I'll come down up here. There's a little area up ahead, and uh, they get like some takeout, some Greek food, Chinese food, and there's a pretty good um, Japanese place here. You know, I hope these places make it. And. Uh, I used to, we used to go for dinner at night down here, a place called Cafe Luna, and uh, that was really good. They've got some really nice pasta, nice Italian food. Kind of basic, nothing too over the edge, you know, but it's, uh, it's like an old-fashioned, the way things used to be, conventional restaurant, you know, not a chain. Take some pride in their work, so it's pretty good. So my ham radio, I used to chat with a guy that was a, an attorney. He worked in one of these buildings here. Skyscrapers. Yeah, right up here. 
I like this kebab shop here. Let me stop here for a second. Sheesh kebab place here is pretty good. I get some of this stuff. I should roll down the window. I should clean my windows before I did all this. And there's the state house up ahead, the newer one. I think I can hold the GoPro up through the, where the sunroof is. I can pull that back. I think I've done that before. We have a state law here. You gotta stop for people at a crosswalk. And if people stop for you, it's nice. It's always polite to wave. place down here they do some concerts and stuff trees and stuff. Now Durham is actually more conventional looking city with a lot more tall buildings. I'll try to switch to my um, dash camera and get some footage from that as well. going on on Sunday today yeah. even during the week it's not that crowded block so this is the road that I came down Fayetteville so we're going to turn right here MFERs to keep the dampers open. I don't know when I'll get around to putting them in though. I don't have jack stands. I got ramps, but I never tried to get this car up with those ramps. Old 
Gibbs State has. We did a, I used to run a photography group here in Raleigh and uh, they invited us in there to photograph. We got some really good shots. So right there is the Museum of History and then there's another museum. Um, it's not really a science museum, but it's kind of, I forget what it's called. They got all sorts of stuff in there. Pretty big actually. And they're free too, so kind of nice. Should be open today too, but I don't know with COVID, maybe they're not. Used to be a lot of people here, like right here. I'll just stop. And churches on all the corners. <laughs> now I'm going to take you down uh, Hillsboro Street where all the college kids would be normally. But they won't be there right now. So uh, it should be pretty empty. Yeah, it's, in it's really pre pretty down these streets even here in the city. Birds and trees, and pretty nice. All right, so right up here. This place here is called, uh, Irregardless Cafe. Looks like they're doing a curbside pickup. And I would love to go here. I love going here with my wife, having dinner. And then right up here, going to the Good Nights Comedy Club. It's right there. I saw uh, Bobby Collins in here. I saw Jeff Dunham. Um, Jeff Dunham before he was popular. Because I remember I said, who, who is this guy? Is he any good? And the guy at the door goes, I don't know. He does something with puppets. He's pretty funny, though. So we went and we had the best time. So, yeah, they get pretty good comedians. Not always. You know, they have their premium comedians and then they just got other ones. So, you know, you gotta... They gotta and then they got people who are just wannabes. Of course, it, you know, the price it, of admission changes depending on who they have. So, that's pretty cool, though. I like going there. Let's see here, girl. Let's see a little better here. All right, so this coming up on NC State. Of course, there won't be any college kids here, I don't think. times they've done over this road now there's a place up here um, for photographers uh, called the um, Raleigh Little Theater <clears throat> and behind it they have something called the Rose Garden and, uh, it's really neat I'm gonna turn down one of these side streets here and show you that but again here's the NC State you know of course then you'll have like every possible way to get pizza and hamburgers and cheap food some of the place is pretty good though. My wife and I have come here for dinner a couple times. Shows and stuff, they, and they have a stage out back too. 
we don't use it very often, but an outdoor stage. Kind of difficult going down some of these roads because there's hills and you know you stop and the minute you start to go, somebody's flying over the hill. So I gotta be a little careful here. Show you the outdoor. Uh... So the uh, the people who make the um, costumes are making masks, and they're selling them and they're donating proceeds. So so that's kind of cool. Right down there. Oh, I got something going on. Let's see if I can show you the rose garden. Oh heck, I'll park my car and I'll walk down there and show you. But I love doing photography here. Uh, even if you're not an expert photographer, you can kind of see where the spots are. See what other people are doing. <laughs> just keep just keep taking pictures until they come out good. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull over here for a minute and then I'll show you. There is an awful lot of people down there and nobody's wearing a mask, so I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to uh, move on, but they got rows of uh, rose bushes and a stage and I don't know what's going on, but like everybody decided to come down here. <clears throat> it's a really nice place. But anyway, um, yeah, too many people for me. I don't know if they got an event going or what, but... Always something happening here. But anyway, moving on. All right, continuing on down um, Hillsborough Street is going to take us to another college, Meredith, where my wife went to college. And uh, and then the um, state fairgrounds. And there's another cool place there. It's called the Arboretum. It's by NC State. And it's got a lot of uh, a lot of plants there, flowers, shrubs. It's uh, pretty nice. I'm sure that'll be crowded as well though. So this has all been redone here. Well, it's still being redone. I think they put more uh, dorms and stuff upstairs. But this street is pretty hustly, hustling and bustling with college kids. And over on the left side, behind it, I didn't really show it, but there's like big fields and places for them to go. So it's not just like this road, this is just kind of one side of it. Her daughter got uh, um, got married here. So I'm just gonna turn around here. It's a really pretty campus, girls' school, business. It's business. I think it's business majors. My wife did. I guess if you want to be a vet, this would be the place to come. So this is the 
fairgrounds coming up here on the right. And I don't even know if they're open. Let's drive through. Where they'll have the state fair. So although they, you know, opened up things, they really haven't opened everything up yet. <laughs> you see people driving around, not many places to go. Um, yeah, let me show you one other place. There's the, um, so this is Blue Ridge Road. And up here on the right, well, there'll be some medical places. But then on the right, you're going to see um, the Museum of Art. Kind of a cool place. There's like a new wing and an old wing. I like the new wing better. It's got some paintings. Not really like the best paintings, but they're okay. And it's really nice inside there. Actually, um, did a photo shoot for a uh, girl that was aspiring to be a uh, designer and um, I had nine models there and uh, one, of the, one of the outfits was uh, pretty translucent so you could see her panty lines and my assistant was so helpful saying you know maybe you should just take them off um, <laughs> we didn't get kicked out though but we got some great photos. Lighting was nice in there, nice and soft. But I was surprised they let us photograph in there. I want to try to turn right in front. That's the parking lot over there, let's see. AAA was in this building right here, I think. Oh, there it is. This is crazy busy here. <laughs> Parking lots full. Oh. So there's a giant park here. It's really just a bunch of fields and uh, some exhibits, out, outside exhibits. Just everybody is out here. So ain't that something? I'm gonna go drive up right by the front entrance of this place if I can. Oh, I can't. They made it so you can't drive up anymore. Interesting. All right. Guess I won't. All right, I'm gonna head down towards the airport. There's a mall down here, which used to be really cool. Like one of the nicest malls I've ever seen. And it just they died, went out of business. They ha it had like wooden floors. It was really nice, and I just nobody went there, and I don't know why. But um, then I heard they were gonna try to get new owners and reopen it. It was all the new sprawl of people moving down here. I thought you know maybe they'd reopen it, but I don't know. I, I'm just curious to see what's become of it. I think they lost their anchor stores and that was like the end of that. So, yeah, let's drive by and see what it looks like. Alright, so when I moved here, we were all working at RTP. It's actually Raleigh East, but this mall was packed. Look at it. They're like, what are they doing? What are they doing to it? They're just stripping it out. <clears throat> oh my god. But this was a really nice mall to come to, meet for lunch. Now this place right here, Carmen's, if you like Cuban food or... It's uh, spicy, it's really good though. He doesn't have to make it spicy. 
I did a lot of photography there. There's a nightclub. There used to be a nightclub there. I think it still is there. I'll tell you, the Hispanic people love to party. They are so much fun to party with. Girls are beautiful, too. Um, yeah, we, we used to go to all meet up here, park here, and go to this food court. That's so sad. This was just a gorgeous mall. Wow. I wonder what the plans are for this. Condos, probably. I don't know. People buy these condos that are just like stacked on top of each other. Thousand square feet. They sell them for like $300,000. I'm like, what the heck? You're like in a tuna can. I don't, I don't get it. You're in the Carolinas. Why would you want to live in a condo I, I don't get it but yeah this was a really cool mall I'm gonna see if I've got any photos of this mall before it got stripped out especially at Christmas time oh my god it was really beautiful um, now uh, yeah, as you know the malls aren't doing so good around the United States they opened up well, they had a mall here, um, Crabtree Valley Mall. It's still doing okay. Um, there was one in uh, Cary, a town center mall. That was doing okay for a while, and then that died. And then they opened up this mall, giant mall up north of Raleigh. Started off doing really good, had a lot of restaurants and stuff. Really liked going there. Parking was way better. Uh, and I don't know what happened, it just kind of... Pang's Asian Cuisine. I've never been there. Um, and that just kind of died. It's closed right now, that mall. And we know people that work there, used to work there. So I don't know what's going to become of all that. <laughs> anyway, so here's Raleigh Airport. And I worked for a company that we were right on the other end of the runway. <laughs> wasn't bad inside the building but man you got outside we go outside to have a smoke it would be uh, pretty noisy there and I remember we we're right next to um, Pepperidge Farm distributor so we uh, we all got extra extra bread and stuff it was pretty cool guy goes I have to throw it in the dumpster but what you guys do after I walk away is and the dumpster wasn't like a dirty smelly dumpster it was was clean because the, the only thing that was in it is like packages of bread but uh it was pretty cool <laughs> i came down here i was like in debt i had no like no money i was driving a 70 buick convertible and uh i worked for this company cutting edge technology we had a ton of overtime and uh then I got into field service work. They moved me into field service work, traveling all the time, all around the planet. But I stayed on hourly. <laughs> I think they started me at like $10.30 an hour. And you know, $10.30 an hour when you're traveling, I was hitting I was hitting 40 hours at, on Tuesday. And I was taking home pretty good money. Um, so it was kind of fun. So this is gonna be interesting. See what the airport looks like. I'm cutting through the airport because there's an e exit right on the other side here. Um, and there used to be a road over on one, there's two runways, one on this side and one on the other side. And uh, the one on the other side, the road was kind of close to the, the runway. traffic only I'm on the wrong side I didn't know anyway um, <laughs> I used to I used to drag race the planes because it'd stop and they'd wind up their engine and I do the same thing yeah you would think that you would through traffic they would want you to stay to the left anyway yeah so they're redoing these this terminal that terminal on the right is kind of shabby 
one of the left is kind of new and did all that one over. But yeah, I used to, when I came down here, I was traveling all the time. Uh, I was traveling uh, three weeks out of the month, 75% travel. It's funny because I had flight attendants that lived next to me in the apartment. Uh, no, they worked in the uh, American Airlines Advantage Department, which was great because I could, I could hand them information. They would get me my uh, my tickets for me. It's a little park down here too. Place you could bring uh, kids, you know. It's a little airplane park. You could watch them taking off and landing. Uh oh, tunnel. <laughs> My wife says, is this something you guys have to do when you go through a tunnel? Yes, yes it is. Anyway, so there's the runway. So yeah, this is a kind of a small airport. And I think if you're a flight attendant and you park over here, a lot of the stuff is closed off now. They, I don't even know what's going on for parking. Private jets park here. walk right up to the fence <laughs> and overflow parking long-term parking they had a place here where you could park your car and you could get like uh, stuff done to it um, oil changes if you need things fixed or whatever and then you come back and you can pick the car up I thought that was kind of neat a lot of people you know down here used to travel a lot there's a lot of big farm We've got Cisco and SAS and um, what's the other one now? I can't remember some of the other ones, but a lot of big companies down here. RTP Park. And, uh, so this is the back end of the runway. A friend of mine from Texas told me that they used to drink beer and then they'd lay down on the runway at the end of the runway as the planes would land over them <laughs> you know where the where all the lights were and the I guess this, this is back in the day I don't know I thought they always had a fence but that was at Dallas airport oh Love Field I think he said it was Love Field from Dallas but I think right here you can see the runway Oh yeah, right here. So yeah, there's the, the runway. Can't really see the tarmac though. But uh, yeah, they come down over here. Um, but yeah, this road used to go left here and it used to be ride along next to the runway. I think it still does go left, but you can't get that close. See, yeah, see, they t it turned. They used to, um, yeah, kind of turned a little bit. I'm gonna turn down it anyway just to see. Um, there was a deli there on the right, 1320. No, what was it? Was it 
an old deli down there on the right. The company that I work for was down there. See the road turns over here to the right. It used to go straight up. Hmm. I know this. Yeah, there's the, where the road used to go. This GoPro is really wide angle. So probably because of me, they didn't want people racing the planes. I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. I want to check something out. I gotta tell you something else too. Um, so this airport, when I first moved down here, there were parking meters in front of the airport. Uh, that second terminal, the one I did not go by, yeah, you could pull right up, put a quarter in the meter, and uh, and yeah, and go buy a ticket. <laughs> it was pretty cool. So this uh, this place here has got all these cars. It used to be a restaurant. what it is now it's a car lot but yeah it was a deli I think a lot of people don't go out to lunch like they used to because they don't have a lot of money but we used to go out every day you know but yeah so I worked for a company that made convection reflow ovens the guy I worked with was the inventor of the technology and um uh, really neat where the building up here we used to build them at and it was cool because I was just a young guy traveling around the planet everything was paid for you know when you travel a lot your meals everything's all covered so but yeah we just let had we're built in this shabby building right here medical treatment systems and then show the back parking lot and see if it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Still haven't fixed the parking lot. <laughs> wow. What a mind. That's crazy. So this part of Morrisville is still the way it was. Yeah, and there were a lot of machine shops and stuff. So my wife was working for this late, uh, with this company. And they're gonna close the company down. And I was talking with her and her coworker, and I said, why don't you just talk, get some pockets, deep pockets. Um, and take over the company. They thought I was crazy. And they did. Well, my wife didn't, but her co-worker did. So her, her co-worker is now the president of the company. Giant machine shop. Giant. Huge. I mean, you, trucks can pull completely inside of it. Um, and I think uh, Mitt Romney was there talking. One day. But see, there used to be apartments and stuff over here. I thought they were building. The other side of Morrisville, the prices of houses skyrocketed. But over here, nothing's really being done. I'm just curious if there's any apartments or condos here. Let's see what they get going on. All right, so maybe next tour I'll show you some Durham. But, um... Not today, but it's a cool old city though. Yeah, gosh, I haven't been down here in so long. I don't even recognize it. I have no idea where I'm at. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. At least give me a like. It doesn't even cost you guys anything. Come on, really? Can you not hit the like button? Is it that bad? <laughs> anyway. All right, so I'm at Capitol Boulevard here. And uh, I'm going to 
head towards the mall, Crabtree Valley Mall, which is probably still closed. And then I'm gonna head home.